Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. If you are new around here, subscribe down below, click the like button, all that stuff. I actually do every single video. Um, but yeah, also comment down below what sort of videos you guys want to see in, in the coming sort of days and weeks. Um, this channel is led by you guys. If there's stuff you want to see um, within reason, I'm more than happy to do it. Um, yesterday's video was a low budget sniping filter video, which was asked by a lot of you guys. So we brought that out, did really well. So thank you for the support on that. Um, and if you do want to watch me do this live, click the link down below, come over to Twitch, watch me do this live. I will be live streaming as you watch this video. Um, any questions you've got, I can help out. And if you want to subscribe to the Twitch channel, it's four ninety nine a month, free of Amazon Prime. Uh, you get access to the silver spreadsheet. You guys know that I am a silver trader. That's what I do. Uh, it's how I make my, my coins. Um, and you get access to weekly trading guide, promo trading guides, and we've got an icon guide coming soon as well, because I, I dabble in everything, but silver cards is my speciality. That's why I make myself maybe a million a week from that. Just want to show you what we did just down stream and uh, into overnight. So we're at 1.9 million at the moment, but we've got quite a lot of special cards on the market selling at the moment. Uh, we've also got an overmars that I picked up quite cheap last night. Uh, if Maldini's still here, I'm in no panic to sell him. I'm in no rush to sell him. He will eventually sell for what I want to sell him for. Um, at the moment, there's a lot of panic on the uh, market because of what this video is about. Uh, the mid icon SPC that's supposed to be coming. And so people have been a bit jittery with icons, which means it's good. You can pick up some very good deals. Um... But it also means that selling on can be a bit more difficult than it is normally. But this video essentially is about the mid icon SBC. Now, we've been saying for ages it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Um, the, the general consensus now is we're probably likely to see it on Friday. No matter when we see it, this video will be relevant for you for two reasons. The first reason is that it will help you save coins if you plan on doing that SBC. But for me personally, I won't do the SBC. But what I will be doing is investing and buying into cards that will be be good around that time. I'm hopefully going to get the Maldini sold, have 5 million to put into it um, to really see a good return back. Now, the thing about the mid-icon SPC is I, I think there'll be more hype about it than there was with the base. Now, there's a chance you will get shafted because it's just the way things are. It'll probably cost something between 400 to 600k to do, I'd, I'd, I'd reckon. Uh, similar price to the base icon. But with this one, there are some really ridiculously meta um, icons that you can pick up. For example, Hulit's mid card comes into, into play here. His baby cards are right, it's a good card, but his mid card obviously is next level, it's, it's an incredibly good card. Um, so he comes into this, and there's obviously the usual standard ones you've got, like your Sabios, your Croatia, your Ronaldos, etc. But what I'm going to show you is what happened during the base icon, the second base icon. So the first base icon, the hype was ridiculous. And I don't want to show you that and go, okay, well look, this will happen again. I want to show you the, the, the second base icon SBC they released. I want to show you what happened to the market with that, so you get an idea of what you can and can't be doing to make coins. Now, it's going to be very sort of internet heavy rather than on the actual game, so I don't really need to show you much in the game for it. But this were, these were the requirements for the original, the second base icon, sorry. 87 rated with Team of the Week, 86 rated with Team of the Week, 86 rated and 83 rated with Team of the Week. Now the 83 rated, I always say to people, steer clear of worrying too much about investing into that. The reason being, loads of 83s on this, on this game, the price doesn't really go up too much with the, with the SBC. It does go up a little bit, but not massively. The money isn't really there. But you do want to be looking at the 87 and the 286s, without a doubt. They're the ones that you want to be looking to be, to be thinking about what it is you can do to make coins. Now, I want to show you what happened during the base icon last time. Um, so here is where Overmars was on the Friday that the base icon got released. He then dropped off steadily down, all the way down here into, into next weekend league, all the way down to 254. So from 297, he got down to 254 and then rose up again a little bit to 266. These are average sell prices. Footprint shows you average. They'll be lower than this and they'll be higher than this that's sold. But these are average sell prices. Again, with Pavel Nedved, another one really relatively meta, four star, five star, but not, not, not one that anyone really thought about or cared too much about. When the FBC came out, he was 654. He then drops, drops down very quickly to 603. Makes a marginal gain back into next weekend league, but that's where his price goes. And then obviously from there, he steadily decreased in price uh, as time has gone on. So for icons like that, that aren't overly meta, aren't, people don't really care about them too much, be mindful if you're holding on to these and using these, they're mid versions of them that is, there's a chance that they come down in value and you lose coins if you're holding them uh, at the moment for those sort of icons. There's a chance they bounce back into next weekend league and you might be alright, but just be mindful that that's a thing. However, with someone like Blanc, Laurent Blanc is used, he's going to load in a second, Laurent Blanc relatively, is relatively still meta now, people still use him in their teams, you see him quite often in weekend league teams. Now, he started off at 918 when the SPC came out. He then gets down as low as 853. He loses nearly, well, around, around about on average, 60k of value before then steadily bouncing back. Now, for me, if I'm looking at this for the mid cards, I'm thinking, okay, cool, what cards are going to do that in a similar way? I'm thinking maybe Sadorf. People tend to use him and run him quite often. 
Um, I'm thinking possibly over Mars mid card, but I don't. I think he'll he'll drop off quite steadily. Um, I'm probably thinking maybe some a couple of defenders like a Rio Ferdinand. Those sort of players, I reckon, will see a hit because people that get them will then sell them off. Also, you'll see in a minute, people sell certain cards to do the icon SBC anyway, so the market seems to drop from there. But then those meta cards do climb up again, so be mindful of that. Don't just suddenly like throw all your cards in there and go, okay, cool, I'm going to do this because they're, they're going to go down in value and I'm going to lose coins. The ones that are more meta that you see in teams all the time, they might be right. They might hold their value relatively well. You'll see a drop-off initially, so don't panic. But some, some of those guys will bounce back. Um... But I, for me, the money isn't in, in isn't in the icons. I'd say for you to be certain, I'd say sell those mids that you're holding um, if we get an inclination that on Friday, because obviously Friday also is meant to be the release of prime moments. Um, so the market will get skittish there anyway. The market will, will, will fluctuate with that coming out. People start panicking and selling stuff. But if you're thinking, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm nervy about it, it could be worth selling. I'm not saying it's definitely the best idea in the world. But I, 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 for me personally, I sold my Kenny Dalglish the moment I thought the mid up mids were coming because I feel like there will be a, some form of hit and at that hit that's when I'll buy back and then I'll hopefully see a rise back afterwards but that's what that's my plan don't hate me if you do it it doesn't pay off because it's my plan but I'm, I'm relatively confident in it but the thing that I keep telling my subs about is the main thing that I think you can look to gain from the mid icon is in fodder now I want to show you what happens with fodder um, in the last base icon so you get an idea so this is Marco Verratti right now on Xbox he's in between 16 17 k when the Icon SBC came out, the day it came out, Verratti was at 16,000. Now, this graph shows you just the level of spike that we saw from Verratti. He got up as high as 24,000 coins, okay? The hype was that real that he got up to 24,000 coins. Now, if you bought him at 16 and sold him at 24, your profit after tax is give or take about 6,000 coins a card. That is not to be sniffed at. If you've got the coins to maybe buy, which I'm going to do probably until we when Weekend League Rewards come out tomorrow, there should be a, a sort of a are calming in the market, and I reckon a lot of them come on, but people aren't going to be buying varieties and stuff like that for their teams for weekend leagues, so he should possibly, he should, usually does, go down in value towards rewards. Um, he then he then drops off, as the, as the, the sort of base icon SPC goes on, he then drops off, so you sort of want to get him sold within the first couple of days. Another example is Karim Benzema, uh, he's an 87 rated card of course, um, he is sitting at about 20 when the SPC comes out, he then jumps up to 28, as high as 29. Again, if you're, buying, if you're buying into him at about 20,000 coins, because Sniper underneath the price is currently always, but if you're buying into him at about 20,000 coins and you're selling them at around 29,000 coins, again, your profit there is about 7.5k. That's a huge amount of coins. And again, if you can put a million into this, I'm going to put, I think, 500k. But what I think I'm going to put is about 500k into fodder just to see what it does. I'm, half the time, I'm undersigned anyway. Um, but I'll buy. what I'll do is I'll do my massive investment in silvers like I, do tomorrow, like I always do tomorrow. That will happen. I'll sell those off, hopefully turn 500k or so into a million, depending on the time that I've got to invest in them. Um, and then I'll use that 500k profit to then reinvest into fodder. I'm not losing anything because I've made that profit anyway. Um, and then he steadily, again, steadily comes back down again, Benzema. PK is another one. Um, he, again, slightly over the rating, but what you find people tend to do with these SBCs is put a really high rated card into the SBC so they can put some, some sort of slightly lower rated cards into there. But PK, the SBC release, gets to 20, is it 27? He jumps up to 36. He got as high as 42k. Now that is incredible when you think about it. He's gone from a 27,000 coin card to a 42k card. Now, so 42k, if you look at that, take off the 5% tax again, 10% is 4, 2, 2, 1. So about 40k give or take is what he's going to be out there. If you bought into it at 27, you look at 13,000 coins profit a card. Now, do I think they'll, they'll all do this and rise this much? Possibly not. But there's definitely going to be a rise without a doubt if Maldini comes off the market. My finger starts, control, uh, starts vibrating. Um, there's def definitely going to be some form of rise without a doubt. Um, people will do this. Content creators will hype it up. Everyone will do at least one to try their luck. So these cars will get taken off the market. And remember, last time, when these cars were at this, pri at this price, they came out just after, like, the day after supply onto the market. So there was quite a lot of them on the market, yet they still climbed up. Best thing to do, sell when you're happy with the profit, always. Last one to show you is the 85 rated, and that's Koke. The reason I like Koke, I've always liked him as Fodder, is as a right mid. Um, he's, always, he's always been a good investment for Fodder because you need to get Kem in a lot of these teams, and a right mid gets you, is usually needed. You need to use a right mid. He's, I, I like him a lot. From 12k investment, he got up to 17k. So again, you're looking at about 4,000 coins profit off of him. That's, again, not to be sniffed at. I know you're looking at PK, for example, and you're saying, okay, well, I got... 
from P P PK can pick up 13, uh, 13k, you're still putting in 27k into it. So remember, there's going to be fluctuations depending on what you put in. If you bought three cold co case, you get a similar sort of uh, profit back. But that's how you can invest in fodder and make coins from, from, from the fodder. Um, so we sort of covered the mid, like, mid icons and how they go down. But one other thing to think about outside of this is what happens to other, other players that are of value when the icon SBC dropped. Now, at the time, Kylian Mbappe, for example, I'm going to show you him. He was at 851 when that when the icon SBC dropped. Now, you're likely to see a drop no matter what happens because people might replace him in their team with a striker they get whatever. But he gets down by 100,000 coins on that SBC. 100,000 coins is what he goes down to. Um, reason being, number one, people replace him with the icons in the team. But people also sold these players to do the mid icon. Some people haven't got the coins to pump into FIFA points so they can just go and do one. Some people have to sell their team and hope they get lucky. And that's what happens with those sort of cards. Now, he gets down to 852 on average. He then gets as high into next weekend league as 806. Now, if you're buying at 752, for example, and you're selling at 806, your profit there is something in, in, in the region of about... It's not masses, let's be honest. I'm trying to think of exactly what, why am I mind blanking at the moment. 806 is 40 off. You're looking at about 14k profit. Again, not to be sniffed at. But this is the average sell price. He can get lower than this, without a doubt. People will list an undercut, an undercut, an undercut. And that's when you buy in. That's definitely when you buy in, if you're going to buy in. However, with me, am I going to invest in Mbappes? And, and my other example here for you is Hung Min Son. Um, I'm not going to do that. But if I was sitting there using those teams for Weekend League, I would be thinking, well, hang on. If this SBC drops and I lose, here Hung Min Son loses 47k, give or take, of value... I'm like, well, I could sell these players and buy them back when, they, when, they, when the SBC drops. There's always a risk attached to that. But for me, that's something I think you should be mindful of. Because if you're not on the ball, a team that suddenly costs you 2 million and holds a value of 2 million coins, suddenly then, after mid icon SBC drops out, only holds a value of 1.8. Now, these guys bounce back. So Son, who's down at, for example, 3-2-1, gets back up again to 3-5-9. Like, he's not far. With fact, he's, he's only, only 9k off the price that he... Uh, that he dropped down to. He then obviously drops off in the weekend again, gets back up to 363 before he steadily sees a decline as, as the game goes on. That happens. Right now, he's selling for 138, for example. Um, but I'm probably thinking I might sell some of these players just to see what happens. Like now, I know some of, if, you, if you're the sort of guy that plays weekend league every week and needs these players, then don't do it. I just hold on to your players. But if you're sitting there with these players and thinking, right, am I doing weekend league this week? Maybe not. Is it best to sell? My advice to you is probably yes. Um, the worst thing that happens is you sell market everyone's probably doing a similar sort of thing panic sells it doesn't come out at six you can rebuy and back again it's not very difficult there's always a risk attached to it but again if you do sell and you sell at three for example home and some right now at one one three eight if he then goes onto the market and gets what down to one fifteen one twenty which is more than feasible at one fifteen if you buy him back if you sell him at one three eight buy him back at one fifteen a lot even allowing for tax you're gonna make profit uh, you're gonna be left over with coins and that's something to think about one hundred percent other thing to think about this SBC Massively so, 100%. Look at other icons as well. Look at the fluctuations in other icons. Look at primes. If you're thinking about buying primes, the market will be skittish. You'll see people being... I've seen, you've seen it right now with Maldini. Maldini the other day was selling con consistently for 3.7, 3.6 on Xbox. At the moment, he's down at 3.0, 3.1. He'll rise again, without a doubt. But just be mindful of looking at those sort of cards and thinking, right, well, maybe if I wanted to buy for my team, now could be the time to buy them for your team. They'll sit there. They're not going to... You're not going to make masses of it out of it, but you're going to make some form of profit. Um, other things to think about if you're buying to fodder, try and buy as much as possible Major League, Major, Na Major Nation. So P you think about your PKs, your Saul's, your uh, Kokes, for, for like the German ones, think about your Sule's, think about your Kimmich's. They're a lot easier to link and get Kem on, um, and therefore they hold a better value. Pjanic is always a good one. He always goes up, but he's off league, but he always goes up as for reference. And think about wingers and fullbacks. They're, they're the ones that I always say, if you're going to buy in, they're the ones that see most of the rise. Hopefully that's helped you guys give you a bit of explanation as to how you can make coins from this and how you can save yourself coins from this and not have the heartbreak of losing those of coins from the players you've already got. Uh, but as always, subscribe down below, if you, uh, down, below, down below if you are new around here. Uh, click the like button and make sure you come and watch me over on Twitch when I do all this stuff live. But for now, lads, I'm out. Peace out. Speak to you soon.